All right, this is Tony today. We're going to talk about bending tools and swedging tools for copper. Right here in my hands, I have a swedging tool which has a small hydraulic piece inside. Once tightened right here, it'll apply pressure to expand the tip of the copper tubing. Okay, we we'll simply screw on the tip with the size of the copper line that you will be using. Put it in the copper piece like so. Lock on the hydraulic inside and begin to apply pressure so that the tip will expand. On the other hand, we're going to be using a Uniweld crossbow ratchet tool bender with a 7 8 tip and a 3 8 tip to bend the copper. What you do is uh, you get an estimated measure of how long your complete uh, tubing line will be that will be attaching to your condenser. As you see here, I have different markings to where my bending is going to be taking place. And this is a master tool, small uh, refrigeration line bending tubing tool. It goes up to a half inch tube to three eighths. And I'm going to be using this for my first bend. The zero degrees marks were exactly where your 90 degree turn or where your bend will begin. We have a perfect 90 degree turn right there. Okay. Once we do that, my other bending point is going to be down here and it's going to be facing the other direction. You got it on there, Dave? Yes. Okay, like so. I have the two turns that are going to complete my tubing line, and I'm just going to cut the remainder of the slack of the tubing line, which will be right about right here. Those are imp cutters he's using, by the way. You have small imps and large imps. These work better with something like this. Apply a little bit of pressure to the thread to continue on cutting through the copper line set. Like so, Dave, and if you just want to show them how this is going to nicely flit, from the end to my valve right over here. Can you get that? Okay, got it. Right there. And the next step would be to weld this on, obviously. Now we're gonna go to the 7 8 line set and we're gonna measure the bends first. I have my first bend is gonna be at nine inches, which is right here. You just want to mark your bend so you don't constantly go back and forth with your tape measure. I have nine inches. My next bend will be at 29 inches. Go back over here. Measure my 29. 29 from the other mark. From the other mark. Okay. This is a fairly easy bend right here. It's only two turns. But now we're using the crossbow for a little bit heavier duty uh, copper. What I want to do is insert it here. I have a track right here marked on the crossbow which tells me exactly where my 90 degree angle is supposed to be at. I slowly begin to crank the copper. until the angle of my line set, of my desired angle to the line set. Okay? Okay, right there. You have to release the crank. Lower the bow down. And 
and uh, this can be difficult sometimes, but you grab something that's smooth edges so that you don't kink your copper.